Hello, today we are again with Adriana. Yesterday she finished her internship in our organization and we are here to share a little bit of experience. So hello Adriana. Hello, hello thank you. So what was your internship about and how long uh, did it last? Okay, it was uh, a three months long internship and it was generally, let's say, about Euro project thing. But stuff I did here was actually a lot of things. I mean, it went from helping organizing uh, some events, um, in the in the of course in the organization to also organizing some events uh, myself to participate in ongoing projects uh, in which the organization is partners such as intellectual outputs a lot of things but generally uh, we can say Euro projecting okay and for sure in the beginning you had some ex expectations about Bulgaria but also about your work and uh, did they meet expectation reality meets expectations yeah, of course, I, I, I think that expectations are always, uh, let's say, not completely fulfilled when you uh, actually practice what you, what you do. Uh, I have to say that my expectations were a bit uh, higher or maybe, uh, let's say, too exaggerated because I expected to, you know, do really, really good stuff already from the beginning. But uh, of course, uh, when you start something for the first time, you start to work in a new field for the first time, it's uh, very difficult to get used to it immediately. So the first two months were like a little bit more, uh, let's say, uh, calm for me. I was uh, trying to understand what to do in order to improve my skills and to take something back home. But then the last months, I have to say, was the, 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 most, uh, the most active one during the internship because I worked a lot, I organized uh, an event myself, so I got more and more into the into the professional field. Yeah, well. that was super intense month, yeah. the last month, because I saw how Adriana been working very, very hard, especially on her personal project. So really very intense June. I agree. <laughs> I agree at all. And what was the most valuable lesson that you had during that three months? Uh, I think that uh, what I understood in this uh, during this uh, experience, actually, it was let's say a confirmation of it, uh, is that uh, one never has to feel completely fulfilled in life. I mean, of course, it's uh, I'm still 22. I'm still very young, so it's something. I don't even think about right now because I still have my entire life in front of me but uh, I understood that um, this kind of field Erasmus projects that uh, are let's say based on a lifelong learning uh, make, make you understand that uh, you can always do something to improve yourself even if you feel like you reached your most important goals. So let's come back a little bit to expectations. Yes. So now about Bulgaria and Bulgarians. Did you have any expectations and maybe it changed somehow uh, your opinion about this country? Mm, I have to say that uh, I was a uh, quite open person in this uh, sense. I mean, uh, I wanted to see some new country. I've never been to the Balkans, so I decided to come here just because I wanted to see a new uh, reality. Um, of course, I was a bit, uh, you know, a bit uh, scared about the fact that maybe people do not speak English a lot here, not mm -hmm. in other countries, for example, that we have in Europe. But in the end, uh, you always find some somehow to let's say how to go through it, and uh, people are always anyway very kind here. They try to help uh, in some way, even if they don't speak uh, English, of course. And that's something that really changed my point of view. Mm. Let's say the one I had at the beginning. I was very scared about the language barrier, of mm -hmm. course, but that changed through. And also, I learned some words in Bulgarian, so I try also to communicate in Bulgarian with them when, and that makes them really happy. Actually, I noticed that as well. Can yeah. you show some uh, your Bulgarian skills? <laughs> <laughs> they are very, very low, actually. Of course, I know how to say uh, good morning, dobro utro, <laughs> uh, and uh, thank you, blagodaria. You know the few words mm -hmm. that uh, some numbers actually from one to three, <laughs> so it add no the and three, and uh, yeah, it's uh, very very basic <laughs> stuff. And what about that knowledge that you gained here? Because I'm sure that you did. How do you want to apply it in your? 
future? Uh, well, actually, I have uh, many ideas in mind because for sure here I gained some knowledge about uh, Erasmus Plus program. I mean, I couldn't even imagine the vastness of this program before coming here. For me, it was just uh, study and traineeship and nothing else. Here, I discovered what EBS is, what uh, youth exchanges are, what trainings are, and uh, yeah, this made me think actually about. Uh, mm, starting for example a career in the future in this field uh, either in my in my specialization sector the one I'm going to study uh, in my let's say future studies very uh, close in September which is going to be communication or um, project developing as well I'm thinking about a lot of things and also I have to say that I got really interested in the European voluntary service and uh, I am considering uh, it as one of my next experiences before I turn 30 years old oh, that's I'm very happy. yeah <laughs> And your best memory, because every Erasmus experience yeah. is full of yeah. amazing, am amazing memories. Mm -hmm. But the best one that you will remember to the end of your life. Uh, that's a very simple memory, I guess. I think that uh, one of the best memory was when uh, I went to uh, this lake close to our to our office, and uh, we went together with uh, the president of our organization and a friend of her. Uh, and a friend of him. Uh, we met also the, this friend's mother and we ate like local food. We were surrounded by, uh, let's say, local people and it was a very, you know, local restaurant because there were, there were no menus in English and I felt like doing something so local. I mean, I felt deeply, uh, let's say, integrated into the community for the for very first time in three months. And uh, yeah, I think that these kind of things never happen to you when you are just doing a vacation or a, a short stay, you know. I think that these things can only happen to you when you do Erasmus. I'm really deeply convinced about that. <laughs> I think it's very worth to taste that local life in Bulgaria. Yes, because absolutely. as you said, you can come here for holidays to the seaside and it will be great but you'll never understand that place sure. you'll not go to that restaurant without any English for sure and in yeah. that case you you of course you always take something back home that it's valuable I have to say that yeah so again about Bulgaria yeah. the weirdest thing about Bulgaria. oh I <laughs> guess that uh, the weirdest thing is uh, the way they say no and <laughs> yes of course that's quite confusing because uh, the way they say no of course for us is yes and uh, the way they say yes for us is no so that that can be actually very confusing because sometimes they know your tourists so they, they do the opposite yeah. way and you never know if they actually say no or yes so I think that's oh, yeah. way the, the weirdest thing that's very difficult yeah <laughs> so final question yeah. about your final project yes. here about your personal project, project. Uh, can you say a few sentences about this? Of course, yeah. I, as a personal project, I organized a short training session on global education. This was part of a bigger Key Action 2 project uh, about global education, of course, which was called Youth of the World. And our organization was partner, is actually partner, uh, because the, the, the project is still going on. Yep. Uh, in this project, so basically, we I organized this short training for ICSDET uh, members, and uh, we had um, a very interesting afternoon discussing about very important themes uh, related to global education, such as uh, human rights, uh, uh, globalization, and uh, interdependence, and uh, also about sustainable futures and uh, stereotypes as well. I think it was a very powerful moment for uh, all of us, for me, for the for the members because uh, global education is uh, nowadays let's say um, an educational field educational field that is uh, taught with uh, with the cooperative learning method so it was very very powerful for all of us I think also for me it was a, a very good experience so thank you so much for thank that you. for that training and for that interview and for that three months that we've been working together <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I hope to see you soon. Bulgaria, of Poland, course. Oh, in Italy. Poland, Finland, <laughs> whenever. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. And remember to watch our video about Finland. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.